Welcome back, random YouTube people. As you can see, it's October and it's getting cold outside. Today is 46 degrees. Tomorrow it's supposed to be freezing at the low. So I need to blow out my sprinkling system and clear it of all water so that the water doesn't freeze and expand and break the water lines. So I'm gonna show you how to blow out your sprinkling system and how to prep it for winter. Subscribe. The very first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is find your sprinkler control panel and turn it off. Next, you will need to determine and locate where the city water is coming into your sprinkling system. My sprinkling system is fed by culinary water, not secondary water. So I have a valve that sits underneath the ground. I need to open up this hole and stick what's called the key down the hole to turn off the valve. Righty tighty, and that will shut off the city water coming into my sprinkling system. Replacing the cap so I don't forget. What you will need for this project is an air compressor. I wish mine was much bigger. This is about a three gallon. If you have a bigger air compressor, it'll go a lot faster, but this is what I've got. And then you'll need one of these little nipple pieces. So this attaches to the backflow preventer on the threaded section. And then this part will connect to the hose of your air compressor. So you can blow air through your sprinkling system and blow out the lines. Next step for me is to locate my backflow preventer. I have it hidden underneath this little fake rock. And be sure to check out my other video where I show you how to replace the backflow preventer. Now out at the backflow preventer or the vacuum breaker, we want to turn off the incoming water from the city. We've already turned it off at the street, but let's turn it off here as well. And then we're going to leave it open to our sprinkling system for now, because we're going to attach our little threaded nipple piece right here. So you can see that this allows us to blow air into the system and you can spray out each individual sprinkler line this way. Make sure it's decently tight. It doesn't have to be wrenched tight. There you go. Somewhere beyond your backflow preventer will be your valve box or valve boxes. Make sure you locate those and know where they are. And be sure to check out my other video where I convert two valve boxes into one four valve box. Go ahead and open up each valve one by one. This should relieve some pressure in the lines and you might see some water squirting out of your sprinkler heads at this stage, but probably not much because the water has been shut off. Next, we'll plug in our air compressor. My air compressor is on this porch, which is right next to my backflow preventer and my sprinkler valves. So it's a nice, easy, convenient location right next to a power outlet. You might need to get a extension cord in your situation, but mine is very convenient. Plug it in. Next, turn it on. This may take a second for the tank to completely fill with air, depending on your air compressor, but this is the longest part of the process is waiting for the tank to fill. Next, run the hose to the desired location. I'm just gonna run it underneath the fence here and catch it from the other side. Now, with your air compressor hose, with the quick connect fitting, you just pull it back and slide it right on. That's what she said. And then this is gonna blow the air through the system, but we need to wait for the air to fill up in the compressor. So for now, we're gonna just take it off until the tank is full of air. Before you start blowing air through the line, you're gonna need to open up this valve. Right now it's closed. If I put the air compressor on here, it's gonna do nothing. So we need to take a flathead screwdriver and open this. It needs to be parallel with the line, like that. A little more, actually. And then that's gonna allow it to flow through the system. So let's go ahead and attach the hose for the air compressor and blow out the first valve. Next, open the first valve only so we can start blowing air through this first valve. With the valve open, let's attach the hose and blow air through this first valve. As you can see, the compressed air is forcing water out of the sprinkler lines. Keep the hose attached to the backflow preventer until you don't see any more water coming out. That doesn't necessarily mean all the water is out of the lines. You may have to repeat this process several times depending on how big your air compressor tank is. Due to the small size of my air compressor, I blow out each line at least twice to get all of the water out. Do this until you are satisfied that you don't have any more water in your lines and then move on to the next line. 
My air compressor is ready to go, so I make sure my first line is closed and I open up line two and let's go blow out the second valve. Now, as you can see, the air compressor is forcing the water out of line two. Once again, as soon as you don't see any more water being forced out of the lines, go ahead and move on to the next valve. Closing valve two and on to valve three. Valve three is in the backyard, so I need to run back there and check it out. Looks like I'm gonna have to blow this line out again. There's so much water in the line, as you can see. While the air compressor is filling up with air, I thought I'd take this opportunity to talk to you about the faucet covers. All of your outdoor faucets should be covered during the winter to help insulate them and prevent freezing. I experienced this myself. I neglected to take the hose off all winter, and when I turned it on, the next year it started spraying out water in my basement because the line had frozen. So please take this opportunity to winterize your outdoor faucets. Take the hoses off and cover them up with these insulated covers. Link in the description. And finally, valve four. Wow, and this is a great example of how the water is being forced out of the lines by the air compressor. Now that your system's all blown out and free of water, we can close this valve here. And the last thing we're gonna do is open up these valves on the overflow. Instead of closing it all the way, I'm gonna leave it open about 45, just like that. So that it's half open, half shut. And there's another valve over here. There we go. It's about half open, half shut just so that some air can go through. And I'm gonna take this off and leave these little rubber pieces off of the backflow preventer valves here, overflow valves. So I'm gonna unscrew this one and leave that off just so that there can be some air that flows through the system and that'll help it to stop from freezing. To allow some air to flow through the system, I'm gonna open up these valves. Now that I'm not blowing any air through it, I'm just gonna open them and that'll allow airflow so we have some good airflow through the system to prevent freezing of course remember to put the valve cover back on last thing I'm gonna do is put an insulation bag over the backflow preventer like so and of course for me I'm gonna put my fake rock back over my backflow preventer and there you have it it's really just that easy to blow out your sprinkling system and get it ready for winter. Please remember to leave a like on this video and subscribe.